think many of you probably are hearing for the first time sports medicine. What has got medicine to do with the sports? Already sportsman is a healthy man, right? Oh, why this hell doctor is there, physio is there to take care of the injuries. Hmm? So, actually thanks for bringing out this thing. It's not only about sports, as we spoke, it's sports and exercise medicine, as called in uh, many of the advanced countries. Uh, now we are expanding the scope also into wellness, mind and body. So, a lot of uh, overlap is there with other specialties also. Sports medicine now, uh, you can see, I can quote the IPL or the football uh, teams. If you see the team, maybe 11 players are there. But if you see how much are traveling in the bus, probably 50 people. So the support staff, the physios, trainers, analysts, nutritionists, psychologists, masseur, sometimes that is a bigger team than the original team itself. So previously we had only one coach will travel at the most, sometimes no coach also in India. <laughs> the teams travel separately and you have one coach for four teams. So that also happens, but let's not come to that. It's support human resources and awareness, funding, so all are a issue that we are trying to solve because we have to have more human resources. As he said, the right hand, left hand, separate, separate doctor. Like that, from head to toe, there are different specialists in sports medicine. Human psychologist, there is one specialist for foot alone, podiatrist. And then you have exercise physiologist, biomechanist, nutritionist, game analyst. It is so fascinating this field is. Each one can contribute so much. You know, in a 100 meters race in Olympics, everybody is watching. The final 0 0.01 second makes a difference between the gold medal to no medal. All of us know the legendary story of P.T. Usha Madam. She missed the Olympic medal by a wish cut, right? But she inspired the entire nation. But with sports science and sports medicine, probably we could have got a medal that time with P.T. Usha. That is the inspiration that uh, made us to form this institute and have this as a hub to give off sports medicine and sports science related services, education, research, all are very important in this country. So we have started courses on uh, sports sciences, sports physiotherapy. We have been collaborating with the National Institute of Sports, Patiala and offering a super specialty course in sports physiotherapy. So these people will be probably better than the foreign physiotherapist because our physios knows our people better than foreign physios. And the skills are imparted also. So it is just a matter of vision and support and executing things. And Government of India has launched many such schemes like Halo India, and new sports science, sports medicine centers, universities. This is really picking up, this field. And all my students who have done sports science are well placed now. Most of them are abroad or doing higher studies or research or placed in various IPL, ISL teams or working for Sports Authority of India. So it's a young nascent field. When you say young, you have advantage, you are attractive and all these things, but you are also inexperienced. So, this field will definitely grow because it can touch sports people, it can touch anyone who wants to do exercise or physically fit. So, we can do a lot of things. So, only we have not even a half a cup uh, empty, is almost 99% empty, but we can fill it up nicely. Thanks, I think I have answered part of your question at least. I think uh, our friend asked about the future of this immunity. COVID has taught us like it affected some people and it didn't affect some people. For example, I ended up with no COVID infection for the past one, two, three, four waves. Most of my family members had. But you name some simple cold, I'll get it. So my probably genome is different and probably Santosh's genome might be different. So the genome sequencing could be, uh, is coming up to the mass level now. And based on the genome sequencing, maybe we can have an immunity profile of who's going to be affected, who can be affected. 
and probably we can make a custom designed vaccines for this kind of people. Okay, you are prone to this, this, this and we will have a vaccine for you for B, E, F and G. Something like that. I think uh, genetic uh, medicine, genetic uh, sciences are going to play a large part in future. Sometimes it's not only about the medicine or the system. We have to look at the formulation, how pure is the drug, is there any impurities in the drug. So all these things matter. So while uh, hunting for a water purifier, I came across an Amazon, there is for 300 rupees I have a TDS meter. So I am going to use that and see whether my water is going to be pure. And similarly, uh, the engineering fraternity, if it can bring innovations in checking the drug's purity at your, say, kitchen, at your uh, dining table. So that would be great. So this is my request to the engineering faculty.